great job because uh, he's taken uh, Nancy all the way and uh, can't quite see. We're in the in the shade here, so uh, you're not uh, not getting the best pictures on the screen right now, but uh, they will emerge into uh, some nice sunshine in a second. And yeah, there you go. You see the cadence has dropped, but uh, the pacer there has done uh, a great bit of work. It's a uh, a good day's work by uh, Mr. Cesarek. But his uh, job's still done now, because he's still uh, out there supporting. That sub-220 is going to mean a lot to uh, Nancy on the left-hand side of the screen. And it is uh, Migo Indurain there, you can see, on the uh, left hand of the screen. So, uh, as I said, we, uh, we thought he walked past us at dinner last night, but uh, we almost took a second take. I wish I had realised, though, that might have grabbed his autograph if uh, if we'd have known so but now 41 kilometers so 1.2 kilometers to go the fatigue are in those legs you can see that it's not going to get easier between now and the finish but what it is about it's about sustaining it to that finishing line remember there's a, a big difference in payday between being inside uh, above and below that 220 mark. And again, just for the uh, the organizers, so Mark Rogue and uh, shows Antonio Radelunt and the uh, the whole of the team behind the scenes because they are very competitive. The uh, Anyone that tells you they're not, they are. Every marathon uh, will keep an eye on other marathons and uh, they'll be seeing the, uh, the performances they get. And uh, obviously last year, you know, 61 Olympic qualifying times, 11 national records. And uh, they dominated the, uh, the top. I know it was a, obviously a pandemic hit year for marathons, but I mean, it, uh, they formulated or they re rewrote the, uh, the records from uh, previous years. So, you know, they want to put another good marker down for 2021. And again, that 220 mark for women is definitely one of those uh, that they have the aim. So, 217. So this would be course record pace coming up now so 217.16 Paris Tips Cheers course record is going to uh, live another year but now 700 meters it's been a really good bit of running she was uh, in that lead group from the very beginning and uh, she made the move and maintained the pace more than anything So it's going to be very close to uh, even splits. Come on, out there. But it's going to be uh, interesting to see the, the chasers behind. Oh, slight uh, turn on a corner there. We well, don't want that. So uh, a little uh, indiscretion there between the pacer and our uh, lead woman out there. Nancy Jalagat there and uh, the first of the blue mats. That could sometimes throw the athletes because the blue mats sometimes represents coming to the finish. But remember the finish this year slightly changed due to uh, one of the vaccination centers. So but it is in front of the hemispheric, the uh, 3D cinema. So an amazing building. I'm out looking onto it now. So uh, it is a, a beautiful backdrop here. As I said, Valencia is a city that incorporates the new with the traditional and the running city is going to celebrate another major marathon performance here nancy jalagat is going to announce her place she's done it already on the half marathon scene with that uh, 65 21 in berlin but sub 220 today is going to signpost her to all the major marathons and uh, Maybe a place on the uh, plane for Eugene as well. Those hotly contested Kenyan uh, places for the World Championships in Oregon. But there's no doubt in the champion here in Valencia at the Valencia Marathon, Trinidad Alfonso, EDP 2021, Nancy Jelagat. And she's gone inside 220. There you go, 219, 31. 
What a great bit of running. And she looks, stop the watch. It's not official unless you stop the watch. So I'm sure uh, her, her coach, her team will be going over that data later, but she can enjoy the moment here. We're absolutely delighted for look at that. She is, oh, that is the pain of the marathon. And uh, Etagal Wodu is going to run a phenomenal debut, just over 2.20 for the uh, Ethiopian athlete. And again, that's painful, but she will be absolutely delighted. A 2.20, I think it was 2.20.15 debut. So uh, that is really good running. And second place here at the Valencia Marathon. So that's uh, Kenya 1, Ethiopia 2. So it is a Kenyan sweep for men and women. So Nancy joins Lawrence on the uh, top spots of the uh, men's and women's podium. And again, the race organizer was delighted. Gary O'Hanlon there finishing in the background. Uh, an Irish Masters favorite there. But uh, we're looking out for the third female finisher. Can't be too far behind. But yeah, Nancy looks absolutely uh, delighted. You can see the pain there as well. The marathon's tough. So who's going to be our third female across the line? It's complete our podium. So still world-class times here. 221 on the race clock. But again, yeah, that's sub 220 clocking. That was secured. And that's what it needed to, uh, to win today. Shouts, whether that's for uh, a local hero, whether it's one of the uh, the Masters athlete 400, Tonchero there, great bit of running. So uh, Irene Pleggio was the uh, first of the uh, Spanish ladies out there. So it'll be interesting to see whether uh, she can get inside her uh, personal best 2.30.07 and get close to that world qualifying time. 2.29.30. Yes, is the uh, salute. Oh, she looks delighted, but in pain as well. The uh, and there on cue, Irene Pelagio. So she's been supported well throughout the race by the uh, athletes to her left and right. And that uh, this could be our third place female athlete. Could be another debutant, Bernadou Degafer. I think it is. Yes, she's over line 223.04. So that's pretty good. Two debutants on the podium. That's impressive running. And again, many of these runners now have an eye on uh, whether it's also national records. So there are a few that will be in chase. There's a few that uh, we think won't go now. When I start looking down the, uh, the list. Good noise for the uh, the athlete from Spain there. So tired legs there, you can see that. And uh, yes, that national record, Hamid Ben Duad and the women's. And uh, Nancy Jalagat there, 2.19.31. Awadu, 2 2.20.16. Take of her, 2.23.04. 223.20 and McCormack went inside 224. 223.58 and I'm sure Ireland is a buzzing right now. I'm sure there's a, uh, a few uh, celebrations going on. Fala McCormack um, used to be coached by a good friend of mine, Chris Jones, but uh, now obviously rocking in the marathons and 223.58 just ahead of uh, Gabriel there, 224.01. And uh, some really good performances. An Italian epist there, 225.20. So. Uh...